This lad is struggling. So there's something just wrong with that lamb. Schmallenberg. Size it up, boy. Big, big lamb. Heart is thumping here. Heads a little bit swollen. It might be a bit noisy in the shed. We haven't fed yet. I couldn't get out the door without the wee man and Ada came out as well. She's going to give me a hand. So it's Sunday today. I've no help. So, well, I do actually have these two helpers. Hello. Do you want to see the baby lamb? Uh, Would daddy pick him up? Oh, so cute. <laughs> you like him? Hide him. Yeah. <laughs> Is he cute? <laughs> now we put him back in with his mammy. So this is a little triplet we haven't taken out. They were born yesterday. They were just busy yesterday with no help. So we left them in the pen. Probably not advisable, but they're okay. They're managing. Better get these fed. Are you feeding the sheep? How's that going, Noah? Good, good. The snot's in their face. Poor Noah. Oh, you'll have to get used to that. Juicy bits from sheep. Won't you, Noah? Yeah. What are you up to there? <laughs> he's got meal all over his face. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Somebody had fun. He's covered in meal here. Look at his back. Oh my God. <laughs> Mammy's going to go mental. Anyway. Anyway. Did you have fun? Oh. Eddie, you have meal in your hair and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> I take no responsibility for that. <laughs> Right, this is, we're out in the lamb and pens here, out through this door here. The kids are just helping me here. We're doing water, meal and water for the ones in the individual pens. The few that have lambed in here, I'm going to get them in myself. We'll get them out. They lambed in the night. We'll get them out now. But that's it. You are heading back to the house now. Yeah? Oh, babas. Yeah, more babas, yeah. Thank you for your help. We'll see you later. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we'll see you after. Thank you. Now, so what have we got? We have a set of twins here. Handy little lambs, but again, a hoggett. But plenty of milk, and the lambs are up. They've had a suck. Happy enough with that. So I have more lambs. Pretty much every pen has lambs in it, except that one. Another set of twins here. Uh, this sheep here has had a set of twins. Careful now, lovely. She's just passing her afterbirth here. Two lovely little lambs there. She's done a good job, so I'll get them out now in a minute. So generally the way I operate at night is keep an eye on them on the camera. I'm not sure if you can see that up there, high up on the roof. Keep an eye on them on the camera. If everything's okay, I just leave them. Uh, another set of twins here, there is one lamb, the other lamb is there somewhere. And you'll see actually the pens need bedding already. Uh, so I was joking in that video about the slats about having to bed twice a day. It's actually almost come to that situation. These are bedded about 14, 15, 16 hours ago at the most. And they're quite dirty again. There's that other little lamb. We get them out to the pen. Up you get, up you get. Lovely big lamb. Happy days. So a nice lamb there as well. So there's the triplets there. So here you go, you'll see them in the middle there. Not bad little lambs for triplets. Oddly enough, they're the ones you'd imagine were going to be small with no little or no meal. But it's the hogs, the hoggets that are having smaller lambs this year for whatever reason. A couple of singles in here as well that were born. Uh, there is one just in there. Today is Bank Holiday Monday. Just going to give you a bit of an update. There's not going to be much time, especially when help is scarce. Now I have one student. 
she has arrived, it's her first day, a fair play to her, came on a bank holiday Monday after St. Patrick's Day. But I just want to show you something. So quite a few lambs, a lot of doubles lambs, some singles as well that I haven't taken out. We had that funeral yesterday, my uncle's funeral, so was away most of the day, keeping an eye on them on the camera as and when I could. Everything was okay. Bit of an update here for you on another wee hoggart. Now, perfectly fine, viable little lambs, but I use the word little because they're quite small. Birth weight wouldn't be a shock. Now, would that be normal for hoggets? So she's a two year old, she's lambing down at two years old and the birth weight is definitely less than the mature yews. I'll give you a look at some of them lambs. Different lambs altogether, at least a kilogram heavier. So here's a pair of nice yew here. Nice sheep with two lambs. Up you get there, up you get wee lamb. Lovely job. So there is a mature, she's a three year old sheep. Two totally different lambs here. Much bigger, much stronger, but I don't know. Let me know, is there something you see yourself, your older, more mature sheep having bigger lambs, heavier birth weight. Again, it's probably down to the hoggets not getting the feeding that they probably need. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I'll just give you a look here at the pens, the mature sheep we've penned up here. Different lambs all together. Have a look at them. So another set of twins here. Good big lambs, nice big strong lambs. Uh, lambing away themselves. I haven't actually had to lamb any sheep. Uh, this lamb, you'll see his front fetlock's a little bit knuckled over. You see he's just kind of knuckled over on the front. I'm not, I don't think he's bad enough to splint or to do anything with yet. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. Here's an unusual little specimen here. Another mature yo. She would be a four year old sheep. I can tell from the tag number. A uh, couple of unusual markings, a black spot here and some a brown tip on the ears, uh, brown on the back. I am not sure what's going on there. I see the occasional one with spots and dots and strange markings, but I'm not too worried about it. So it's a little yo lamb, should be perfectly fine for commercial breeding. In terms of a purebred animal, I'm not sure you'd uh, be advisable to keep them because you could throw that later on down the line. So another pair of twins here, good big lambs again. They're only about an hour born. Nice strong lambs. Uh, three year old sheep here again. So I'll just give you a look at one of the hoggets here. This is one of the other hoggets with smaller lambs again. So this is two year old sheep lambing down with smaller lambs. Uh, I'll just get this one up here. Up you get, there you go. So there you'll see the smaller lambs again. That's not a bad lamb. Good stretch, that's a great sign. You see the lamb stretching like that when he gets up. He's not starved anyway. This is the set of triplets. They are still here for now anyway. I'm not sure, they're a couple of days old now. Up you get. Three nice lambs, good lambs. So you'll see the pens are filling up here. All full at the back, we have one, two, three, four, five. So five empty pens here. Hope it's gonna be quiet enough tonight. But some of these back ones, we'll get them tagged and out. We could even let them in here tomorrow. If the weather's not good enough to get them out, we could let them in here and we can have them all tagged up ready. If we get a window of a reasonable day, we can let them out to the field. Here is the sheep after lambing a lamb backwards. Head in the bag. This lad is struggling. Oh, come oh, on, wee lamb. So a little rub, little rub like that. Let's them know it's time to wake up. Now that lamb is after coming backwards. It just popped out when I came over. Just struggle a little bit now. So I had actually gone off to get the camera to give you a look at what was going on and in the meantime she had managed to get him out herself. So the lamb is struggling a wee bit because when they come backwards uh, it's 
quite hard for them to clear their lungs. Their natural birth is two feet and a head, and you should be okay though. She's a good mum. This dad was born about 20 minutes ago. Heart is thumping here. Pounding. Which I suppose is a good that's a good sign. You're taking a good breath. Good lambs, nice big strong lambs. A pair of twins in this one now. So it just goes to show that the sheep will actually land backwards. Now you can see he's struggling a bit more than they normally would, but he should be fine. He should be fine. That's a good mum, licking him around the head. Very good. Shake, when you see the head shaking like that, it's generally a good sign. So I'm just going to put a wee dot. Oh, a little blue dot on these two lambs. And a little dot on her head. So I know if there's any mishaps, I know they are definitely her lambs in the morning. We have another pair of doubles in here. Two lovely big lambs in there too. Just going to leave them here. Good big lumps of lambs. Pretty happy with them. Going to put a wee dot on the lambs, just in case of any issues. She's a good mum. She's just passed her after birth here. A little blue mark on her bum as well. So she has lambed away herself. Actually very little assistance so far. Um, I don't think there was one sheep I had to handle yet. So we're going well at the minute, but I will not speak too soon because you never know what you're going to face. So we'll hope for the best. All right, catch up with you in the morning. So unfortunately, this sheep here had a lamb, just happened to be watching it on the camera. Presentation was good. The sheep wasn't straining particularly long. The lamb came out, but wasn't moving. And I was watching it on the camera. Now I was in doing a bit of editing for this week's video. And when I saw the lamb wasn't moving, I said, I'll just go out for a look. Come out for a look, stillborn, dead lamb. An unfortunate part of lamb and frustrating in that there's nothing you can do about it. But it is something you just have to kind of learn to deal with. But out of all the sheep and lambs that have lambed so far, this is the first born dead casualty, which is part of the job. That's probably the most difficult thing I found starting out at lambing was casualties. Now, my mortality in the lambing shed is around about seven to eight percent, depending on the depending on the year. Uh, I know some flocks is particularly higher. Maybe an outdoor lamb and flock in bad weather, it can be difficult. But I am just going to leave this lamb here with this sheep. Uh, it seems a little strange, but I actually find that the dead lamb will help her, it'll help her bring on the second lamb. So I have another little problem here that needs uh, work. And it was just by chance that I was out to check that one. But I see a sheep in trouble here. Uh, you see this sheep here, big nose and a swollen tongue, I'm not sure if you can see that, I'll zoom in here, just going to give her a little assistance now, it is a big looking lamb. actually have two feet coming. I thought it was a head and no feet. Quite a swollen tongue if you can see that. Very, very swollen. We'll just give her a little hand here. Lamb is still alive anyway. I can feel his feet pulling back. It's a good sign. Come on. She's been doing quite a bit of strain and she's a bit of blood around here. Big, big lamb. Big lamb. 
Come on. There we go. Head's a little bit swollen, tongue swollen. Be okay. What a beast. That's the biggest lamb yet. Mama, Mama has loads of milk. So unfortunately we have no triplet. Leave her at it. She'll come back to him now. Right. Thank you, Hope. Happy days. So I would imagine she's she's been under a little pressure. Now you'll see she is not overly keen on her lamb, but I'd say she had a difficult hour, maybe hour or two there, trying to get that lamb out. But I think what we do is we might get her into a pen here. You see, he's sitting up as a whopper. He is a whopper. Come on, 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 So this is a three-year-old sheep. She's a second timer. So I'll just leave her here. The lamb is starting to talk, looking for mammy. That'll encourage her to come over and investigate. The urge, or the, the natural urge for her to find the lamb after the lamb coming out is pretty strong. So we'll keep an eye on her on the camera and we'll hope everything will be okay. We'll update you in a bit. Now, I've been in the house I've been watching things on camera and this sheep has put out her second lamb and I didn't see much movement so I just said it'd run out after the loss of this first one here she would be more inclined to lose the second one probably should have took it for peace of mind but left her at it she has her lamb landed here he's okay on a more positive note I see a triplet lambing up here now, I'm just after running out of the house. I didn't even take time to put on a coat. I'm just in a t-shirt. Not going to hang about. Triplet lamb in here. Handy little lamb. So what I'm going to do is I go back in and get dressed. I take that triplet and when it's still wet, I put it in with this sheep that's lost the lamb. And at least it'll be two sheep with two lambs. This other one here, that we had the tough lamb with the single. Not overly keen on her lamb. The big boy is just chilling out here. We we'll put the lamb over in front of her. There might be some hope of her actually taking to him. Now, there you go. Lick your lamb there. Now, might be some hope of her taking to her lamb. She's probably a bit shocked. Tough lambing. She was under pressure for a while. At least an hour, I'd say. It's a job to watch them all. Back out here, we just go up and get this triplet. But another little job. This lamb here, if you're wondering, you see the mark on him. That's the one I marked last night with the blue dot. Mammy is in that pen somewhere. But you'll see a happy enough ending here. So you'll see the big lamb here. The big lamb, big single that we took earlier this morning is up, trying to suck. Mammy is not sure what to do here. She is not sure what to do. You'll see her just nudging him here. 
spot a good lively lamb mad good up on set so what i'm going to do is actually inject this sheep i'm going to give her two and a half milliliters of medicam because she has had a tough lambing the pain of that lambing probably isn't helping her so to be kind to her i'm going to give her a bit of medicam here So that can only help, she's not overly keen on her lamb. So a really good sign here is, you hear, you hear the sheep just starting to talk. The lamb is calling and she's just starting to call back to the lamb. That's a really good sign. The mothering instinct is kicking in. You see her lips starting to move, she's just starting to get that instinct. It is quite unusual for these sheep not to lick the lamb straight away, but it's purely down to a tough lambing. That sheep was surely in labour for an hour, maybe more, and it was just the sheer size of that single that she couldn't lamb it. So we go up here and we get a triplet. This triplet here is trying to lamb, trying to, trying to pop out her third lamb, sorry, her second lamb. So she has one on the ground here. We'll just give her a hand. We'll take the second lamb and possibly the third. And we'll get it dropped in with that single. So a little bit of lubricant, it's just easier on the sheep. And just swing around here, that's the gear. Come on. That's the gear. Now don't stand on that lamb. So we've got a foot and a head. We're missing one foot, but we'll go back for that. So I just lifted the, the second foot. Right. Clear the nose. shake of the head that's a good sign so we'll go back in for this third lamb quite handy little lambs so this third lamb is actually coming backwards i can feel the back legs here the hocks so I'll just take him it's actually a good job i'm here to help so just pop the water bag go back in for these back feet just make sure no shot here Lovely job. We'll just take the backwards lamb a little bit quicker. And just, just go back in here and check there's not a fourth. Yeah, just three. No, all right. All right. There we go. Just gasping a wee bit. So a backwards lamb will always struggle a little bit more because the airways haven't cleaned. Generally when the lamb is coming out, a lot of the fluid will clear the airways from that natural hanging down. But the backwards lamb is just a little bit slower. Now we'll get you on to a clean up of the bed in here. Alright, All right. just pull him over here. I'm going to actually take this lamb, this is the stronger of the two lambs, stronger of the three lambs I should say, so I'm just going to take this lamb and give it down to the single down here. Now so I'm just going to lift this lamb, he's wet, she hasn't licked him, they haven't bonded yet which is pretty important. Generally when the lamb is licked clean the sheep will have bonded to the lamb. Now she's mad to come for a lamb here. We'll not let her out. She'll go back to those lambs there. 
So we'll just take this lamb down here now. And we'll drop him in here with this other sheep. So we'll just drop him in here with this sheep. She is looking for him already. Go on. There we go. No. See, you see straight away she's licking that extra lamb we've put in. We'll just take this dead lamb now. This dead lamb can go. No. No, so this little lamb, there's actually, this casually now, there's actually something kind of funny with this lamb. I'm not sure, you see his neck is a bit strange here, it's a little bit, I'm not sure if he was coming the wrong way, but his neck actually won't straighten here, so I would say that lamb was a little bit deformed of some description. And he's actually stiff, you see his joints here, he won't straighten out. Definitely something just wasn't viable with that lamb. You'll see when I even hold him up here, this lamb is only born a about a half an hour, and when I hold him up, his legs physically won't straighten. So there's something just wrong with that lamb. In some way deformed, I'm not sure what it is. Thankfully, we haven't had, or I don't hear of any reports of Schmallenberg back over here. I know some flocks, in particular in the UK, have got a bad, bad, bad doing off it, and I really feel for those people, because lambing is tough enough without the problems like that coming on your doorstep so there's something just not viable with that lamb i'm not sure what it is pretty sure it's not schmallenberg because i'm not sure i don't think the other lamb would be viable um let me know your thoughts on that and if you have seen much schmallenbergs yourselves uh, i think there might be a touch of it down on the south coast of ireland a little bit warmer drier weather the, the midges or midgets that are inclined to bring it across are more prevalent down there but let me know your experience with it. Now, so here is the triplet that I have taken the lamb off. Might be a bit noisy, the sheep haven't been fed. Here is what I call an auntie. So she's very close to lambing and she's trying to steal her lamb. So this is what goes on. This is when Miss Modern can be a problem when they start stealing lambs like this. So. The lads have landed, the help has landed. They're gonna take this sheep and lamb into a pen. We'll avoid this problem. I'm just gonna go back into the house now, grab a bit of breakfast, do the school run, and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Now, we're just heading on a school run here. The girls are about to jump in. Just looked at the Jeep. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's not good, is it? Oh, no. We're already late for school. No. We have to pump this wheel. Some crack. <laughs> now that's the wheel pump. They hit the road. All right, Ada. Thank you for your help. We'll see you later. Love you. Love you. Best girl. Bye. Bye. See you. Now, when you we get you dropped off next? Yeah. Okay, we hit the road. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>